Hey, love, bless my back, got you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking out for yourself to be able to see the things that's being sent to your way to be able to head uh, add towards the puzzles that are missing in your your you know your puzzle of your you know your journey and being able to be blessed to be upon a journey with you is truly a blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification button uh so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and go ahead and drop me a few lines i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up tell me about your empathic gift and if you feel like the video is bringing you good information or even good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend please go ahead and share and why you know especially empaths that need confirmation or validation towards your life path or even soul purpose um go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit once again thank you so much for the love and support it is truly needed and i you know i'm very appreciative of it and i love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today i'm uh using the meditation music in the background called 639 hertz attract love while you sleep heart chakra healing sleep meditation nine hours 444 hurt music that's like the fourth third or fourth time i'm gonna sit up here and told y'all in all the videos it's like every other video has been it's like 440 uh 444 so that's good um and the video i'm doing today is twin flame 101 hey okas never stand in your way of the blessings that are being sent to you we, you don't realize how many times we stand in our own blessings and i mean i had to learn a long way that you know you can just by the things that you put out to the universe and it could have been something very simple that can block you and your blessings and it'll, it'll leave you in a situation longer than it's supposed to be but even though everything is divine time you do not want to be able to block your own blessings and it could be from the people you hang out with but the things the words and the the frame of mind of how you're thinking the things that you keep focusing on you know i had to learn all this stuff you know um being able to heal and being able to just come to peace with it a lot of times when we're going through like our spiritual ways awakenings these tragic experiences these painful situations we have to be able to give that grief you know you have that grieving period that you should put yourself through not like you know you cry a little bit seeing how things really are you know it, it takes a second or two to be able to, uh, you know, really see things for what they are. It can be hard, you know, going through my situation, it was really hard. It was a hard pill to swallow to know that my family is the cause behind a lot of things that I went through for a financial gain. And, you know, it is just like when I can learn to see that this is was placed on me for many reasons to be set in motion where it had to be that way you know for myself you know I, I always wanted to be able to do things but it's like even with the jobs that I have you probably went through the same thing you were there to provide for your family provide for yourself take care of your own needs but it just wasn't working like you would dread to go to work I remember I used to have to smoke a blunt or two just to get to work my like, lord please don't allow me to kill these folks today you know it's just because I had to deal with things and I was very miserable and I'm just like why can't I find something that suits me you know it's just like you know it was a good paying job but it's just the mindset if you know if you're taking your job home with you and you're constantly complaining about your job when you, this is the time for you to allow yourself to be like okay i got through this day but you're still talking about the things that went on about that job while you're there so a lot of times you know um you know i've had like my love bugs tell me rosalyn you know i really hated this job you don't know they don't tell me rosalyn i lost my job and the first thing i say you know is this a job that you love to go to you know, and then that thing about it, like, no, not really. And I said, that's the main reason why. And it could be something over something petty that you lost your job for. And that was just like, universe had you to go through that situation because this wasn't for you. It was, it was keeping your frequency low. It kept your vibes low. You know, and it was just like, well, my situation. I hate the fact is because I love money too much. I love to support myself. You know, I found ways of hustling even before I got here. You know, and now I had to come back, 
you know, and be, you know, on the straight and narrow. I couldn't do the crazy stuff that I used to do to be able to survive before. You know, a lot of things I'm too old to be doing, to be sitting up here trying to do things that I did to survive before. So, you know, universe has me working on these videos. Universe has me reaching out to people, helping people, you know, where I stay, helping people virtually, you know, and it, just not knowing where it's going to take me to, but I know it's going to take me to something beautiful. You know, yes, it's scary as hell when you're going down this path because you don't know. And that, I mean, it's really frightening. You know, I, I talk to my love bugs and it's just like when we're doing one-on-one, -on -one, they, they tell me where I was on the scary. I said, nobody said it wasn't going to be. You know, you're you're not human if you don't don't be scared of things you can't see because you're you don't know where the unknown is going to take you. But it's just the fact is if you put it in a positive frame of mind, God and universe is not going to take you somewhere where it's going to hurt you. Uh, it's not going to hinder you. Um, you're not going to get hurt. But I mean, things have to be experienced for you to be able to learn because there's a lot of times we have to take that failure. A lot of times we have to have that setback, those mistakes. We learn, you know, but it's just like you learn through all those pain, painful process, painful experience. You know, I can look at my life from like even two years ago and it's just like I have evolved so much. You know, I'm still a work in progress, but I'm not the person that started this. You know, being able to give yourself those little awards for yourself. Like, look how far you have come. Look how far, you know, there's a lot of people I felt they felt like they were damaged. You know, they can never be, you know, I'm like, I can't never heal. You know, if you have that mindset, you won't be able to, you know, you have to be able to see why was this place on you. Yes, it's a hard situation to go through. But when you're not holding on all that, you know, hate, hatred and mad, you know, there, I mean, there's days that I, it still takes me some time on a lot of, well, not that much, but it's just like little things that I know I need to make peace with, but I can at least give myself that credit. I, I've healed from a lot of things it was just like i don't carry no anger in my heart it's just like more of disappointment and it's just like i'm on that path of forgiveness you know i'm you know i'm sitting up here saying you know this is not meant for me to be carrying this for this long you know it's it's not going to do anything except slow you down carrying all that 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 weight of sadness the weight of abuse weight of mistreatment because it's like the people that have placed these things on you, they're probably being able to sleep well and they're trying to find their next victim to do that too. You you know, it's not going to hurt nobody but yourself of standing in the way of your blessing. It's just like a lot of times, you know, God snatches people out of our lives and we go running back to them. Don't run back to something that God tried to tear you away from in the first place. You know, there's times that, you know, I, I wanted to smoke weed just to get through, you know, the days because I didn't want to think about all the pain that my family put me through, you know, me losing my father, you know, knowing that was the greatest fear of my life. And my family made sure I endured that, that fear, you know, um, torturing me for something that I had no choice in the matter. You know, it, I got in trouble, constantly got tortured for me emulating anything that act like my dad, you know, that it, it was days that I wanted to just take a razor blade and start cutting my face up just because the fact is they couldn't be around me too long because I look too much like my dad. I do facial features like him. I even brood like my dad. I can be stuck in thought and be like, and my dad does the same thing when he's like, you know, he's concentrating on something. He sucks on his face. And it was like, I used to get in trouble for things like that. Things that, you know, that I mean, the man's genes is just strong. So it's just like all these things that I went through, I knew it had a purpose behind it. You know, I had to figure out what that purpose was. And with us being Hayokas, we always do that overanalyzing through every experience, every experience that we go through. You know, we take that long road down to, you know, try to understand why things are the way they are. And through those, you know, those difficult experiences that we choose to take ourselves through, that's like straight torture. But it allows us to be a lot stronger than average people will be. Just because we took that long road. We, yeah, we could have took shortcuts a long time ago, but we chose to get this way. We chose to get the long road because it's like, yeah, if you go this way, it ain't going to take that long. Nah, I got to go see what's going on this way because, you know, there's something that ain't right. And like we do, we always do things the hard way when it could have been, you know, okay, just drop it. But that's how we learn. That's how we heal as being Hayokas. Yeah, we can be funny, <laughs> but we, it's just the fact is we do a lot of difficult things. Like, why do you do that? My mom always used to say, why do you make things so hard for yourself? It's in my nature. <laughs> it's just in my nature. 
but then it allows me to really see why I had to go through the things I've gone through because it allowed me to know my purpose behind my painful experiences. But it's just the fact of me allowing people to know all my business at one time, you know, then it's like people that I didn't know knew more about me than I should. You know, a lot of people just assume, you know, people want to tell their, their version of their story. And a lot of people in my life that I did not want there, especially if I don't associate with you like that. People knew about me, knew how to get in touch with me. I'm trying to figure out how these people know me because somebody else wanted to run out and tell my business. But it's like all these different things happen, you know, and it's just like, being able to share there are certain things that you just can't up and share with a lot of people and it's not the fact is they you know that you're trying to be secretive but there's a lot of things that the universe doesn't need them to do because their energy you know even though they can mean well it's just their energy of uh mixed emotions can vibe your energy and block you from it so a lot of times you just got to keep things to yourself because it's like there are times i can be on the phone with somebody and we reminiscing about things we went through and you know good well if we weren't supposed to talk about it, that phone gonna click just like that and that was just telling you don't talk about that you you just bringing up something else again because it's like well we experience painful you know situations and we stay you know you tell somebody oh i remember this and it's just like i you know i tell Come my soul, brothers and soul sisters, you know, I can tell you without really telling you, because if I tell you the whole story, it's just like me, you know, going right back to that, putting that feeling right back into that memory when I was supposed to let it go. So there's a lot of things in your life, you know, there's people that are in your life and no longer serve you. I don't push back from people. You know, there was people I took off my Facebook and all of a sudden they're trying to get back on there. I'm like, look, it ain't no offense to you, ain't nothing personal. But if I took you off or you took your own self off, there was for a reason. I'm not about to put you back on there because a lot of times people just want to be friends with me just so I can see, you know, what I'm up to so they can block it because their life is miserable. I've had friends that I thought were my friends. They were like, oh, how you doing? Or, or you know, or if I say something, oh, I'm trying to, you know, clear my karma and all this stuff. And they think that I'm about to sit up here and tell a sob story because their life is all a hot mess when they need to be healing theirs. You know, and it's sad when people just trying to sweep off your front porch when they know their their stuff needs a whole lot of upkeep, but they're too busy worrying about what you got over here. And you people are not gonna understand your journey. You know, as long as you understand your journey, that's the only thing that matters. It's not gonna make sense to anybody else. Cause a lot of people, when it comes to my situation, there's pe been people here that could have loved all my videos. And as soon as they went back to that intro and see why I did my videos, all of a sudden they didn't want to hear that no more. As soon as I said whose child I was, they didn't really care for that no more and they disappeared or they felt some type of way and they, you know, they said some really cruel things to me. But there's a lot of things that I've learned. This experience has opened my eyes up to a world I didn't even know where they existed. Like you, it allowed me to see people at their lowest point. It had pe me seeing people at their worst point or seeing how they can be vindictive, manipulating, you know, all these different things. But I also felt the love of you know, that people love me, you know, you, you have to be able to have it balanced out. There's a lot of people that I've, you know, come in connections with and they feel happy that they met me when they did because it allowed me to help them be able to light that light in their body or their soul or their aura when they felt like there wasn't none. You know, when I was able to give my advice and say, this is how I healed about things, how I had to look at things. Cause you know, a lot of times if we're looking at it and not in a pat, you know, uh, positive aspect to where this painful, uh, you know, experience or situation is going to allow me to grow, you know, then you won't be able to see it within yourself. You have to be able to see, yes, I went through this situation. Yeah. There's nothing you can change about it. It's in the past, you know, but what good is it going to do for me holding on to that? I can see how much bad it's going to do, but what good is it going to do? Nothing. You have to be able to heal from it. And there's, you know, I don't, it takes a daily process. Allow, let yourself be grateful for the experiences that you had to let you see how much strength you have. You know, and I, I mean, I know a few people that's been with me for a good time, even a short period of time, and was able to take heed of the things that I said and they just see their life turning around every day because they're seeing those those grateful vibes that are coming towards them just because they're taking that healing process no it ain't gonna happen overnight but as long as you know every day you're applying yourself to make sure you can put you know if you got to do positive affirmations 
and say, I am saying, I am going to overcome my sadness. I am going to overcome my painful experience. I am going to heal to be this better person. I am going to apply myself to be this best person, best version of myself. When you're working in on yourself, universe going to have your back. Universe going to have your back regardless. But if they see that you're applying yourself, they're going to allow you to see visions of the reason why you had to go through what you went through. Why why people were cut out your life. Why this had to happen, why that had to happen. Then you you know, you're being more grateful for the lessons that you had to go through because that gave you growth, that gave you wisdom, that gave you knowledge that you didn't even think that was going to occur in your life. These are how you look at those things and how you experience those things and see that it wasn't there to hurt you, even though it did, you know, but look at the outcome after that. You know, there's so many, you know, I've seen motivational speakers that open up their hearts and say the reason why they did the things they did and how they had to get here. You know, it wasn't like they were successful overnight. You know, they had to go through things. They had to experience heartbreak. They had to experience pain. They had to experience setbacks. They had to experience failures. Take L's left and right. Being abused. Being nobody have faith in them. You know, a lot of people, when it, like I said, if they can't see their dreams within themselves. They damn sure can't see it in you. Because they don't want you to do that. Like, oh, well, I did it and I failed. So, obviously, you, you assume I'm the same. I'm not you. You know, I might have tried something different that you weren't able to see at that time, and I might excel, but don't be trying to, you know, knock me down before I even get there. You know, at least if you know you tried and applied yourself to do what you got to do and you still failed, you can just find a different way of doing it. If you know you want certain things in your life, allow yourself to give yourself that chance. Don't let no negative naysayers or people that are doubtful in their own situation allow you to be able to, because you're the one who's going to have to deal with the consequences. You can't listen to that because I'm the type of person I always try to give them, hey, did you look at it like this? Or, you know, step back, don't put no emotions in it, but just look at it from all different levels, seeing why you had to go through it. You know, take your hate and pain and pissed offness, whatever you want to call it, out the equation and look at it for what it is. You know, and then when you look at it and you're making sense, you're like, dang, hey, you know, I understand now, you know, because it's just like when you can open your mouth and tell people the things you endured in your life, that's the first sign of strength right there. Because a lot of people are always worried about what people think. Nobody on this daggone planet has ever had a clear, straight, narrow path. They can't get mad at you because you sin differently. That's one thing they can't do. So it's just like you've gone through your things. People are always casting judgment on other people, but they know they're going to do some dirt themselves. Like you pot can't call the kettle black. That's one thing you can't do. But if you are not no longer doing the things in your past, but your past is what brought you here in the first place, don't let allow somebody to keep bringing your past back up in your face, spitting that up in your face, especially when you're not doing it. You know, if you don't have faith in yourself, that's fine. But don't 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 throw no game on me, because you know I have people up there that want to tell me about the things I used to do. Oh yeah, you used to dance, you used to do this, you need to do that. I'm like, I did what I did to take care of my kids. I ain't prostitute. I ain't sell my butt. I didn't do none of those things. Yes, I used to be a pill popper because I got into a car accident and got hit by a drunk driver head on where I should have died. Crushed my whole left side. So I got, you know, addicted to pain pills. Going through many depressions because I didn't understand why my life went the way it was. So me coping with my pain, I popped Xanax. You know, when my kids didn't have no food to eat or any things for their birthday, I stole. I shoplifted. When I had to pay a bill, I'd rather put clothes on my baby's back and stuff like that and get my car, you know, repossessed. You know, trying to make ends meet being a mother of three at 22 years old. Trying to do the best thing I did and almost got evicted out of different things. And, you know, just to see the whole outcome of knowing that my dad was there to take care of me and I never received these things. I had to go through this line of struggle. And they know that, you know, my family knew that, that my dad was sending stuff, but they, they put their selfish needs ahead of mine and my children. And there was plenty of times where we could have been out on the street, but they, they were okay with that. I mean, that took a lot for me to deal with. Like, damn, I didn't have to go through all this, you know, especially if my dad was out there helping. But you know what? Those experiences I had to experience to be able to tell people, you know, my family was like, you need to stop doing things that you might not be proud of. You might be famous one day. Would you want people to know that? They always used to make me feel like I was scared, like I did something so wrong, even though I did wrong things. But why should I be ashamed of those things? Those are the things that made me. You know, my mistakes are the things that helped me grow, see myself like nobody is perfect. 
everybody got a past that they're not you know they're proud not proud of it's just me i i put mine in my videos so when everything do come out what dirty you gonna be able to say on me and i ain't said on myself you probably get a picture you might get a mug shot you know me holding up you know the thing like that hey well at least you know like well damn rosa told me she did this yeah i shoplifted a few times you do what you have to do for your children you know, I'm bounce a couple of checks to rob Peter to pay Paul. I know there's some people that be praying on, you know, Unifax or whatever that is. Just to make sure your check used to go through. Be like, oh, good, it came out. Well, can I get him a couple dollars off of that and be trying to get money off of it? I used to do that, yeah. You won't catch me doing that mess now. You know, here where we live at, you be in the newspaper for doing stuff like that. So that's enough to keep my butt out of trouble. I don't need that kind of life. But, you know, all these things have occurred in my life that has made me into the best person I can be right now. And it's like, I have no shame in my game on the things that I've been through. You know, I, I've done things that I wasn't proud of. But, you know, at least nobody can say that I didn't take care of my kids. So, you know, I was a young mother that had to grow up very fast. And, you know, seeing expose me and myself as well as my children to things I really wish that's the only thing I wish I can change is exposing them to the things they shouldn't have seen. You know, all the toxic situations I've got myself in. But it's just like if you know that's all you are used to, you know, how can you be able to change that if that's all you learned? So all the things that have, you know, have brought you to this day, don't allow nobody to keep bringing the past up to you, you know. You know you're a better person. You know you're no longer doing the things that you used to do. You know, those from your situations like that allowed you to be able to grow. Being able to forgive yourself for allowing yourself to be, you know, ashamed. You should never be ashamed. You know, people do things all the time. But, you know, don't allow those things to hinder you. Don't allow somebody's negative vibes or negative mistreatment put on you to stop your growth. Because there's beautiful things that are heading towards your way if you just give yourself that chance. So don't sell yourself short because of other people's opinions. Because opinions are like buttholes. Everybody's going to have one. So allow yourself to grow. But that is all for this. This is going to be my last video. I thought I was going to do some more. But hey, it is what it is. I'll have some more for the next day. So I hope and, and, hope and pray this is able to help you see the things through your your you know your situation. No better things are coming for you, but you have to be able to give yourself that chance to know you're worthy of those things, regardless of who feel like you ain't worthy of them. So I would love to give a post notification shout out to Ray Fisher, Robert Cole, and Katie Strait. Much love to you, and I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. And I will see you on my next video. And I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend as well. And be safe for everything you do. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate or you appreciate the video. Share. Tell your friends about me. You know, they might be able to resonate as well, too. And I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Much love. Peace.